Right now, United Kingdom preparing to say final goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II. Her coffin arriving at Buckingham Palace Tuesday before heading to Westminster Hall. That's where she would lie in state for several days. It's a live look right now from overseas. People gathering right there along the River Thames, preparing to see today's procession to Westminster Hall, which you see there in the distance. That procession is going to take place a little bit later on this morning. And Logleton is following every moment of the somber ceremonies before the Queen's funeral. Logleton anchor Nicole Perez, she is live in London right now with the latest. Nicole? <laughs> Alexis and Eric, we are right along the Mall where we were yesterday and once again, thousands upon thousands of people have made their way over here to find a spot and stay there. Remember, the procession doesn't get started till another few hours, just after two in the afternoon, our time, but people are already here. They've been here since early this morning along the guardrail because they want to get a chance to see the coffin go by, even if it's for just a few moments with the royal family right behind the new monarch walking behind the queen's coffin. This is not only the scene here. You guys mentioned Westminster and the Thames River. There are people already there along the river that's part of the line so once the doors open to allow people to go in and view the coffin around five o'clock in the afternoon that line is going to start to move so people already stayed overnight getting ready to get that chance i like to show you guys the paper because i think it's so important and, and such a poignant photo that they show the way the coffin arrived yesterday this is the times this is when the coffin arrived right in front of the gates of buckingham palace so many people behind watching as the coffin draped in the Royal Standard of Scotland with the wreath over top, brightly lit so that people got a chance to see the Queen rain or shine. It was coming down very hard yesterday. This was the first time the Queen was back in London since the announcement of her death on Thursday. Remember, she was in Scotland when she passed. This will be the last time she'll be home. the much anticipated arrival of Queen Elizabeth's coffin down the Mall in London, heading for Buckingham Palace to rest in the bow room. King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla waiting to receive the casket, along with thousands in attendance. I could soak up the atmosphere and um, just remember uh, a woman that really was there and done everything for the nation. Anyone for the palace, go through the park. Turn right and follow it around, please. Some, not wanting to miss a moment, setting up chairs and camping out along the mall for their chance to be near the Queen one final time. I was just heartbroken, I think, when I heard that the Queen had passed away and I just wanted to uh, be a part of this, um, of this event. Uh, it's, it's not going to happen again in my lifetime. Those grieving continue to file in, leaving flowers, letters, drawings of the Queen, and even a stamp along the bark of a tree at St. James Park. It's just a thank you, really, for all that she's done for everyone, you know, for our country and for all around the world. What do you think you'll miss most about her? Um, I don't... <laughs> I don't know, I think it's just not being there, yeah. Yeah, it's still hard to believe that she's not there. And that's going to take a while, I think. The coffin arriving on Royal Air Force aircraft from Northolt Airport after lying in rest in St. Giles Cathedral to allow Scottish mourners to pay their final respects for 24 hours. She was always just right. She, you know, she was just, just the perfect monarch. And this was such a moment night. The hearse making its way to Buckingham Palace from North Holt Airport. It was about a 45, 50 minute drive from the airport. People lining the streets for miles. The oncoming traffic stopped near the median. People getting out of their cars to pay respects to the queen as she drove by. This road is known as A40. So if I can put it into perspective for you, you can think of US-1 and just imagine the amount of cars that travel along US-1 and you would just see car after car stopped right there on the median. People getting out, just standing in solidarity, waiting for that moment as the hearse drove by. It wasn't a very slow moment. It was very... Okay, Nicole Perez, she is live for us in London this morning. We are going to work to get her microphone back on as she describes exactly 
what she is seeing on what is going to be a significant day as the Queen's coffin will move later on this morning from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall and we'll bring it to you live right here on Local 10. And in the meantime, here's what you can expect in the coming days after its time at Buckingham Palace. The Queen's coffin will make the journey to Westminster Hall today in a procession with King Charles and members of the royal family. Now, once it's there, Her Majesty will lie in state for four days, giving the public a chance to pay their final respects. Officials say lines to see the Queen could last as long as 30 hours. Now, this all leads up to her funeral, which is next Monday on the 19th. And we will be here and we'll continue to follow it as well as Nicole Perez. You can stay with Local 10 for the very latest on air and online throughout the week.